Revalidation What is revalidation? What are the requirements for revalidation and why is it so important to know this in relation to your UK NMC exams? This video will explain these questions and take you through likely examinable UK NMC CBT questions. But before we do that, kindly click on the subscribe button to support Dank GH YouTube channel for more videos. Revalidation is the process that permits you to maintain your professional registration with NMC, builds on renewal and demonstrates that you can practice safely and effectively. This is done every three years. The NMC Code of Conduct requires nurses and midwives to maintain their professional registration and revalidation is a way of doing it. The nurse or midwife needs to meet the following requirements to revalidate. 1. Practice hours, 450 hours. You must have practiced for a minimum of 450 hours over the three-year period since you renewed or time you joined the register. This helps nurses and midwives to keep their knowledge and skills up to date. In cases where one is registering as both a nurse and a midwife, dual registration, 900 hours is required. 2. Continuous professional development, 35 hours. These are trainings, courses, workshops, and self-learning. The required hours is 35 hours of which 20 hours must be participatory learning. Participatory learning is when you personally interact with others in learning but not done alone in isolation. Example of participatory learning is workshop with other staffs. 3. 5 pieces of feedback. Nurses need to collect feedback, complaints from patients, service users, managers and colleagues on their practice. This should be 5 and it can be formal, informal, verbal, written and through survey, reports, appraisal etc. Once you get a feedback, you are to reflect on it and use it to improve your practice. 4. Written reflective account. 5 reflective accounts are 5 things you have learned from your CPD learning, feedbacks or experience in your practice, and how that has improved your practice. 5. Reflective discussion. Nurse or midwife should discuss the five reflective accounts with another NMC registrant who is either nurse or a midwife. Example is discussing an incident and what you have learned from that. 6. Health and character. You must declare if you have been convicted of any criminal offense or if you have any health concerns that impairs your practice. 7. Professional indemnity. By law, you must have appropriate indemnity, insurance, arrangement. Your employer, example NHS has a duty to make sure these arrangements are in place. However, self-employed nurses should have their own arrangements. 8. Confirmation. This is the part where a person deemed appropriate to be a confirmer makes sure that you have complied with all the requirements needed for the revalidation. This can be your line manager or a registered nurse or midwife of UK NMC. Trial questions. 1. What are the required hours for participatory learning under continuous professional development? A. 35 hours B. 450 hours 20 hours 45 hours 2. How often are nurses and midwives required to revalidate with the NMC? A. Every 2 years B. Every 3 years Every 5 years Monthly 3. How many continuing professional development CPD, Hours are required for revalidation. A. 20B. 35C. 450D. 350. 4. What is the role of the confirmer in the revalidation process? A. To assess your fitness to practice EVE. To give a feedback on CPD activities. To provide feedback on reflective accounts. To confirm compliance with revalidation requirements. 5. Who is responsible for professional indemnity when patients have suffered harm through the negligent action of a self-employed nurse working various areas of practice? A. All nurses are protected from legal actions against them by the NMC Code of Conduct. Self-employed nurses should have their own professional indemnity. The GPD. The nurse manager. 6. For revalidation, a nurse is required to get five pieces of feedback. How can this be obtained? A. Written or verbally online. Verbally, written through survey or report. Verbally from patient. Verbally to maintain anonymity. Comment with your answers for feedback and don't forget to subscribe.